Are you sick? Are you poor? Are you diseased? Are you afflicted? Do you have sorrow? Receive the touch of God. Tegula ndirani ku program ina nso ya Touch of God ndi ntumi kwa mulungu a Prophet F.T. Samuel. Prophet F.T. Samuel ama tumigira ku Light of Life International Church kujie Musa ku Blantyre. Mu program ino ya Touch of God tima kupatila ni zosiana siana za zikuru zimeni mulungu wa kujida kuzera mwa ntumi kwa ke ya Prophet F.T. Samuel. Program yatu ya sabada ino ya Church of God itabwira ndi prophecy confirmation kukwani litsidwa kwa mau au neneri. Kwa manso munga tonse tikudziwa president wa dzikolino Dr. Lazarus McCarthy Chakwera tsopano lino ndiwa pampando wa bungwe la Sadek. Mu program uyi tikupatsirani mafuno abwino kujokera kwa prophet FT Samuel kupita kwa mtsogoleri wa dzikolino pamene tsopano wakala wapampando wa bungwe la Sadek Dziwaninso kuti gawo lalikulu la program ya sabata ino likale mu chingerezi komabe litanthauziranso michijewa kuti mawa unenera mene akwanilitsidwawa ndiyati nanga ananenedwa liti tatieni tikale limodzi you're watching the Touch of God program with Prophet F.T. Samuel. And today we have come with a prophecy confirmation. This prophecy was released on 8 August 2021, which was a Sunday. And it only took seven days because on 15th August 2021, the following Sunday, the prophecy came to pass. Now, let us get to the details. On Sunday, 8 August 2021, the man of Jesus Christ, Prophet F.T. Samuel, gave out a prophetic alert to the world that we should pray for a president, a vice president, or a prime minister of a nation. Beloved, remember, that the prophet is only a messenger. God himself is the author of all prophecies and as such, prophet F.T. Samuel does not have any authority to alter the meaning or change the context of any prophecy God gives him. Now, with that said, let us go to 8 August 2021 Pray for a president, a vice president, or a prime minister of a nation. Here is Prophet F.T. Samuel. Let us pray for a president, a vice president, or a prime minister of a nation. Tendependent to a president, or a prime minister. Adziko. Pray for them for God's protection and God's intervention as they go out and come in from a public activities and individual functions. So we should pray for a president of a nation or a vice president or a prime minister. Vice President, Prime Minister Mziko. Of a nation, Mziko. as they are going out to do public activities and when they, they are coming in for individual activities. We should pray for God's protection and God's intervention. That God should protect them and they should intervene. Hallelujah. Amen. Something, something not light, something not good. 
That's why I say God's intervention. Amen. Our prayers may not stop it from happening. But our prayers can intervene and protect from evil to happen in a waste manner. But in all, God's will is greater. So we live for the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So we pray for them. Let's put the whole world in the hands of God. Let's put the whole world in the hands of God. He, he held the world in his hand. Prayer. Father, we put the whole world in your hands. Every nation in your hands. We cover our presidents. Our vice. Our prime ministers, my prime ministers, all those who work in top government officials. We pray for them for God's protection. And you should intervene. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We leave it for God. Now, if you have followed this prophecy, you will notice that there are key details which the prophet gave out. He said, let us pray for a president, a vice president, or a prime minister of a nation. And the prayer was for protection and God's intervention as they go out and come in from public activities and individual functions. Further to that, the prophet also said that our prayers may not stop it from happening, but they can intervene and offer protection. Let us quickly go back to these details. Let us pray for a president, a vice president, or a prime minister of a nation. Tend dependent to a president, or what's at the work of a prime minister at Zico. Pray for them for God's protection and God's intervention as they go out and come in from a public activities and individual functions. Tend a bempereo, Pamina Guruga, Commander Guru, Amina Gajita Zinto. So we should pray for a president of a nation or a vice president or a prime minister of a nation as they are going out to do public activities and when they, they are coming in for individuals activities. Now, before we go any further, you may wish to know that this prophecy was published on our official Facebook page, Prophet F.D. Samuel Ministries, on Monday, 9 August 2021, headlined Prophetic Alert to the World, Pray for World Leaders. And now, the confirmation. It was on 15 August 2021, which was the following Sunday, that news broke across all media that Taliban fighters have taken siege the Afghanistan palace as the sitting president, Ashraf Ghan, fled the country. It has been nearly 20 years of fighting the Taliban fighters, removing them from the throne and rebuilding the nation which has sadly come back to the starting point with the Taliban fighters back in control. Bear in mind the words of the prophet. We should pray for a president, a vice president, or a prime minister as they go in and come out from public activities or individual functions. On this day, 
15 August 2021, the President of Afghanistan, Ashraf Ghani, held a public address and shortly after, he fled the country. His Vice President and top government officials are believed to also have fled the country. Beloved, the life of the President has been preserved. Even his vice president and top government officials, as the prophet said in his prayer after the prophecy that we should put all presidents, all vice presidents, all prime ministers and top government officials in prayer. The president of Afghanistan, his vice president and top government officials have so far been protected by the special touch of God. Now more than ever is the best time to put Afghanistan in God's hands for God's intervention and protection because currently the situation on the ground is so tense and frightening. Beloved, remember that prophecies reveal deeper secrets, uproot root causes, foretell the future, and warn us so that we are either prepared or we should take it to the Lord in prayer for God's intervention. Indeed, as the Bible says in 1 Samuel 3, verse 18 to 19, quoting the NKJV version, then Samuel told him everything and hid nothing from him. And he said, It is the Lord. Let him do what seems good to him. So Samuel grew and the Lord was with him and let none of his words fall to the ground. Truly, God is using prophet F.T. Samuel by revealing to him what is to come. Beloved, whilst we announce the fulfillment of this prophecy that the president, his vice president, and top government officials in Afghanistan have been protected and are now safe, the situation is still fragile. Nobody really knows what is next. With the Taliban fighters back in power, people are living in fear. Let us therefore keep on praying for the nation, Afghanistan. I am releasing the fire of the Holy Ghost to capture every evil animals that have been coming in dreams. Kumbugirani kuti mkwone la program ya Touch of God ndi ntumiki wa murungu a prophet F.T. Samuel. Ngati mwangu tipeza kumene, takula ndirani. Na ulo yamba la program ui, tinakupa tirani prophecy confirmation kukwa nilizidwa kwa mau au neneri. Pa 8 August 2021, prophet F.T. Samuel anapereka mau au neneri. Kuti tipe mperele ntsogoleri wa dzikolina wa chiwiri wake komanso akulu akulu aboma chifukwa akuona zinthu zosakhala bwino zikuchitika Prophet FT Samuel anati tipe mperele chiterezo komanso kulowelerapo kwa mulungu kwa president Ameneyo komanso dziko limeneri Patango pita sabata imodzi la mulungu lotsatira Pa 15 August 2021, 
Nkani nari bonse bonse urinto goleri wa dziko la Afghanistan. Ashla Afgani watawa mzikolo ndipo kuti zigawenga za Taliban zalanda boma. Pamene zigawenga zi zimafika kunyumba ya jifumo mkuti President Ashla Afgani komanso wajwiri wake ndakula akulu ena boma atatawa mzikolo. Iwo watu anatete zidwa ndi zanja la Yehova. Miyoyo yao sina saka zidwe. Komabe Gakale hizi ziri jumweji kukwaniritza mawa uneneri ya mene Prophet F.T. Samuel Ana Pereka kutipa lichina chake chimene chichitike kutsogoloku moringa na ndi mtsogoleri wa dzikolina wa shiwiri wake kumansu akulu akulu ena aboma tie ni tipitili zebe kuikiza manja mamurungu dziko la Afghanistan jifuwa hapa menezi gawenga za talibani zikula mula dzikoli miyoyo ya antu ambiri ilipajuo piezo Antu akukala mwamanta. Munga tonse tikuziwa. President wa Zigolino, Dr. Lazarus McCarthy Chakwira. Soba nulino nduwapa mpando wabungwe la SADIC. Mprogramu hii tikupatirani mafuno abuino. Ujokira kwa Prophet F.T. Samuel kupita kwa mtsogoleri wa dzikolino pamene tsopano wakala wapampando wabungwe la sadek and now let us move on to something different here is a special congratulatory message to the state president of Malawi from the man of Jesus Christ prophet FT Samuel this message was also published on our official facebook page Prophet F.T. Samuel Ministries headlined Congratulations Your Excellency Dr. Lazarus McCarthy Chakwira President of the Republic of Malawi the new SADC chairperson Now here is the message Malawi is a small nation with remarkable history that cannot just be buried each day we are making history for the generations yet unborn. We are not the warm heart of Africa for nothing. As much as the Sadiq chairpersonship is rotational, hosting the 41st Sadiq Summit is something that we are so proud of as citizens of this nation. Congratulations, Your Excellency Sir, Dr. Lazarus McCarthy Chakwera, President of the Republic of Malawi, for becoming the Sadiq Chairperson. And indeed, as the Bible says in Romans 8 verse 31, if God can be for a nation, who can be against it? Congratulations once again, Your Excellency. We wish you all the best. Remember that you are always in my heart, thoughts, and prayers. May the special grace and love of God be with you always as you carry out this assignment and many more. Prophet F.T. Samuel, the man of Jesus Christ.
Titsirize program yathu ya sabata ino ndi pempero la padera. Pamene dziko lonse la pansi la kudzika ndi ntenda ya COVID-19, maiko, mabungwe, achipatala, komanso anthu osiyana siyana alikalikiriki kusakasaka njira zoti zithandizire kuteteza fuko la anthu ku ntenda imeneyi ya COVID-19. Tikunena pano kwa bwera katemera amene anthu akulandira komanso pali njira zosiyana siyana zimene boma lina kazikitsa zokuti anthu titsatire kuti tithe kupewa matenda amenewa The Bible assures us that all things are possible with the Lord there is nothing too difficult for him If you are a believer here is a special prayer for you, released in power and might by Prophet F. D. Samuel, inspired by the Holy Spirit, filled with healing powers of COVID-19. If you would like to get this prayer, contact us on the following numbers that you should have it in your phone, in your gadgets, and you can use it anytime. You can also send it to your family and friends. Let us now pray together with the man of Jesus Christ, Prophet F. T. Samuel. Good morning, good morning. God bless you so much in the name of Jesus Christ. This is a touch of God audio for your life in Jesus' name. Wherever you are listening this voice, the hour for your healing has come. Listen to me very carefully. The name Jesus Christ is able to perform any kind of miracle you may be looking for in time where you are hopeless jesus christ is your hope for surviving a time where you are in desperate need of god's solution jesus christ is right there with you to hold you by his light hand. All you have to do is to reach out your hand by faith and touch him. Just like a woman who touched the garment of Jesus Christ and she was healed from her bleeding. If you are sick of COVID-19, believe right now that Jesus Christ will heal you. I am praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I command COVID-19 of your body in Jesus name out of your body in Jesus name out of your body in Jesus name COVID-19 in your chest out in the name of Jesus Christ COVID-19 in your lungs out in the name of Jesus Christ COVID-19 in your body out in the name of Jesus Christ. COVID-19 in your lungs out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you are listening to this voice, Jesus Christ is touching you. This is a voice of the touch of God. I command COVID-19 be healed 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I can see the light hand of God. He's touching you now. He's touching your head. He's touching your chest. He's touching your lungs. He's touching your body. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Are you diabetic? BP? Asthmatic? Whatever sickness in your body, including COVID-19, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Follow my page, Prophet F.T. Samuel Ministries on Facebook. Please share this audio to any person who needs a miracle of COVID-19. Remember, share my Facebook page, Prophet F.T. Samuel Ministries. Check it and see the wonderful name of Jesus Christ working in the life of people. I am Prophet F.T. Samuel, Blantyre, Malawi. God bless you. You are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. That have been coming in dreams.